Yeah, so what is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name, of course, is Mac, and today we have got August's edition of Drive Crate. I am not 100% sure whereabouts this is originating from in terms of the countries that are, or the country that it's inspired by inside here, but we have it. So we've also got the F1 coming back this weekend uh, at Zandvoort. Uh, I am very, very much looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not even going to suggest about the 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 predictions that I may have. Uh, I have to admit though that the McLarens are looking better now. I have to admit that that is something that that I think that a lot of people should be keeping their eyes on all the McLarens uh, for this next second half of the season. But without further ado, let me get on with this video. I do have a little video at the end that I was meant to come out with last month, but. It's been very, very hectic. So I will show you the little surprise that I have at the end of the video. So stick around, stay tuned to see the video that I will have prepared at the end. So without further ado, let's get into this. Wabam. So it is coming from the Netherlands. So I can only imagine just because I accidentally just saw something that there's going to be a Red Bull cap. That's all I'm going to say about it. So, we will get it out. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's a Red Bull cap. <laughs> so, a Red Bull 940 era, new era cap. Not the snapback type of variant, just a normal cap variant. So, the 940 000 OSFM new era cap. So, I'd imagine that is this year's cap very very nice indeed i do always love the designer caps i've got i always wear caps so my caps for f1 is is through the roof um i must admit i only really wear my ferrari caps but i'm getting quite a nice collection of non ferrari stuff i must admit Right, item one. So we'll go for item two, which is a simply lovely, a reference to um, to Max, obviously, with what he usually says to um, Christian after the after most most wins. Let's be honest, and most uh, and most sessions, how he absolutely dominates the field. So it's a can. Holder, be it like be it a can slash bottle cooler. I have got one of these upstairs. I've had one from both. I believe I've had one from here before, but I'm not 100% sure. So you just pop a can in there. I haven't got a can on hand, but I have got a bottle. So just obviously pop it in there, like so. There you go. Yeah, somehow it keeps it cooler. I, I don't know how that works. But obviously, if you've got a cold can or a cold bottle in here, obviously, you're not going to get a cold hand because there's a bit of insulation between you and the can. Next up, we've got a circuit sign, which I haven't got my knife. So I've got to try and get it open. Manage to somehow do it. So it's a circuit sign, so a welcome in Zandvoort. So I'd imagine that's welcome to Zandvoort in Dutch. Very nice metal sign. I'll have to, one day I will have to get all of these like put up. I'll have to put them all up on via like blue tack on the back. They do look absolutely amazing. I love these. We have also got and a Netherlands Dutch keyring. Um, I'm not sure who it. It's just a Dutch flag on a F1 car. Very very cool. Very nice. It's made of metal. By the Pit Lane Collective. So on the metal keyring. Very very nice. It's on a clip instead of like the normal keyring type design which I have to admit I do like that a little bit more it's easier for me to get it onto keys if I so wish 
I don't tend to put them on keys and I don't tend to put any of the stuff that I get in here. I tend to keep it as is. I I have no idea why I have like this weird thing of collecting and keeping random stuff and not really using it. I know it sounds really, really daft and really stupid, but that is what happens to most of this. this ha most of this goes into a plastic box. And finally, yeah, that is the last thing. We have the Funky Mix, uh, Red Band Funky Mix. So I think we have something like this in um, over here in the UK. So it's just basically a similar to Haribo um, Tangfastics, I'd imagine is what this is probably what this is called. I will have a quick try because these are going to be all right. These are. So is it resealable? Not resealable? Damn, you're missing out. That should be a resealable bag. So I will go for one of these blue ones. Very sour. But very much what I believed they were going to be. Oh, some red. I don't even know what these are. A diamond. The Belgian, not Belgian, it's the Dutch, they're not bad, not bad. First time I've ever tried, tried Dutch sweets. Oh, I definitely prefer the diamond. Oh yeah. I'm unsure about the flavour, but it's a pleasant flavour. Right, okay, so this is everything that you will get in this month's drive crate this is an example of what you get in every drive crate anyway so just to recap we have the key ring the funky mix from obviously holland you've obviously got the circuit sign you've got the beer cooler slash can cooler slash bottle cooler and you also have the hat i must admit that usually you do get a little bit more in this but obviously you've got quite a few high key items here obviously red bull merch is quite on the dearer side of the spectrum you've got the mug cooler you've got the metal sign you've got the metal key ring so you get five items in this in this crate um obviously everything as per usual is 35 pounds i do these non-sponsored for you the people so that you can see exactly what you're going to get within these sorts of sorts of drive crate or well, crate subscriptions and yeah it's just a basic overview of what you will get uh, so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave it a thumbs up um leave it a thumbs down if you didn't uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will catch you in the next video and yeah that's not even the end of the video so on to the next part all right so i'm kind of hoping that this one will stay in position whilst i do this part of the video this is my new puppy so this is a new announcement the new addition to the family this is my new puppy luna so she is a alaskan malamute cross siberian husky and she is absolutely gorgeous and I must admit that she has got the major nibbles. She's still a little puppy. She's only 12 weeks old, bless her. Um, but training with her has been so, so rewarding. I must admit that I have not been in the best of mental spaces um, in my mind for a, for, a, for a little while. And having this dog whilst I've, whilst I've been through this has given me something to focus on. And I must admit she's... An absolute pleasure to have she's saved me in so many ways already um and it's hard and it, and a weird weird thing to think about for people that possibly don't have dogs in that pets really do help you like i, I can't tell you the amount that this dog helps me just on a on a on a bad day when i just feel really down and whatnot she's always there for me and always there to play and keep my mind off things 
always up ready to go for a walk she's absolutely amazing she's she's a good little girl but um yeah i'm gonna be doing some more videos with her probably some more outdoor videos with her at some point uh, she has a instagram down below if you want to go see puppy pictures and whatnot they will all be down there but um yeah that's the big reveal is my new papa new papa um she's a bit restless at the moment because she's usually having a mid-morning snooze at the moment but i've had to wake her up so that she can come and say hello to the video but yeah i will see you guys in the next video she is telling you that she don't want to be recorded anymore and yeah see you next time take care